Brown Skin Beauty Production. I used to believe we were burning on the edge of something beautiful, something beautiful, sun a dream. Hey guys, it's Keisha back again, and today we're doing a get ready with me. So I'm gonna be doing my hair for you guys and my makeup, and today's look is also inspired by Valentine's Day. And if the first one wasn't glam enough for you, I hope this one is. So we have a pink purple cut crease with glitter liner. Yes, yes, glitter liner. And you know, I didn't do too much with the lashes. I could have went more dramatic. So you guys can do more dramatic, but I don't know. I didn't want to really take away from the eyes. I wanted you to experience the whole full effect. So yeah. If you guys are interested and you want to see how I did all of this, all of this, and all of that. Keep on watching. All right, guys. So you're going to see that I already parted my hair. And this is the ponytail piece that I'll be using today. I must say, I do like the piece, but it does tangle quite a bit. But anyway, it is a drawstring ponytail. And I'm just putting the combs in, tightening it, and wrapping the string around the ponytail. Now, to lay these edges, honey, we are going to be using the Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel. And let me know if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how I lay my edges or my baby hair. I do get a lot of compliments or people asking how I do do them. So, let me know. Now, taking a scarf, we're going to wrap that baby up so that it can be laid and slayed. You know the motto. And now we're gonna start on our makeup. So taking the Morphe 35M palette, I'm gonna take this as my transition shade, and then I'm gonna take the 35B palette and take that pink shade, and that's also gonna be in the crease. And we're gonna make sure we blend that out really, really good. And just like my Pretty in Pink tutorial, we're gonna take that e.l.f. color as well, and we're gonna apply that also into the crease to deepen the color. And then going back with that first br brush, sorry, we're gonna blend that out so that there's no harsh lines. Now taking this deeper color, I am carving out where I want my crease to be. And just like before, we're going to be going back and forth between the brushes to just help blend out all those colors so there's no harsh lines. Taking this deep purple, we're going to intensify that crease cut even more. And blending, blending, and blending. Now to cover our cut crease, we're going to use LA Girl Pro and Warm Honey. The same thing we use to set the lids. And then I'm just going to blend it down onto the lid and blend out. And to set it, I'll also be using my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. On the lid, I just went in with the lighter pink shade in the Morphe 35B palette. 
just so that it would have more of a base than just that beigey warm color. Now for the liner, I'm gonna be taking NYX's liner in rose petal, and we're gonna use this pink liner to carve out where we want our glitter liner to be. And also it's gonna be a base and a background so that whatever, wherever the glitter doesn't pick up at, it would have a color. Now I'm going to take this NYX glitter primer and I'm going to put that on this part of the liner first. I'm going to do it in sections and the glitter that I also use in my holiday glam, I'll link that video below or I will have it up in the corner. I'm going to take the pink shade and what I just did was put it in some pill reminder that I got from Dollar Tree and it went perfect because it matched the colors of the glitter. So. That's a tip if you guys don't have any containers for your glitter, you can either go to the dollar store or order you some containers, clear or colorful, to put them away. Like I said, I'm going natural on the lashes, so I'm taking the Demi Wispies and I'm applying it with my Duo Lash Glue. Now, I think this Duo Lash Brush on Glue is the best thing ever. Now, that's the Smashbox Photo Finish in 4.2. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face and then I'm going to buff it out with my Real Techniques brush. And before I blend it out, I'll be, I'll be spraying my face with the Smashbox Primer Water. Oh, and I did color correct, and what I used to color correct was the LA Girl Pro Concealer in that orange. And I just blend it out with my finger. And I don't know what happened to the footage of me applying my concealer, but I did use the Tarte Shape Tape in Deep, and I set it with, well, I set it with the Sasha Buttercup. Going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, I'm gonna contour my cheeks, around my forehead, and on my jawline. And I'm gonna take a stippling brush and blend that out. I personally love using stippling brushes to blend out my contour. I feel like it gives it a more natural blend, and then I either just go over top with my beauty blender or if it's a little too harsh I would just get my face powder brush and tone it down a little bit oh and guys comment below what you guys like to use to blend out your contour or your highlight just so I have a few tips I also contoured my nose and I'm going to use an angle brush to blend that out To set my contour, I'll be taking Max Blush and Noir, and I'm gonna blend that out. I want it kind of a dramatic sculpted look, but I'm gonna tone it down with my face powder. And I wanted to carve my face out to give me that <laughs> sucked in look, so I'll be using my Sasha Buttercup to clean my contour up. And my beauty blender isn't wet or damp, it is dry. And I don't know, this just blends it out good to me, so. It is what it is. And then we're gonna buff away all that powder and we're gonna get as much as much off as possible. I'm so tongue-tied today, I can't believe this. And 
If you still have a white kind of cast or a line, just go over it with your face powder. And I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 360 to buff that out even more. And then you won't have that line of demarcation. So I took my Kiko Lip Pencil in 710 and ColourPop in Barracuda. And I just love this lip combo. Now you know I can't live without this highlight. I'm gonna take this and put it on my nose and I'm gonna put it on the high cheek, the high parts of my cheeks, my forehead and my chin and also on my brow bone. For blush, I'm gonna use Morphe's 9N blush palette and I'm gonna take that color and blend everything together so it looks seamless taking the urban decay all nighter spray this is literally a holy grail i absolutely love this setting spray ever since i got it i feel like my makeup has been in place for hours and it just stays flawless all day long so if you don't have it please go and get it taking these three shades i'm just gonna put that in my waterline and it's gonna be a gradient effect, so I'm taking the lighter color first, the mid-tone second, and the darker color in the outer corner of my waterline. And then I'm gonna use that pink champagne color in my inner tear ducts to open up my eyes a bit, and that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, don't forget a thumbs. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment and subscribe. Give me some tips on what you guys would do, and that's pretty much it. Like always, keep slaying beauty. Bye! Used to think that I wasn't fine enough And I used to think that I wasn't wild enough But I won't waste my time trying to figure out Why are you playing games? What's this all about? And I can't believe you're hurting me I met you, girl Make believe.